Hey everybody, this is going to be a review for the Tutoro Automatic Chain Oiler. As I said I would do. Now I've had this on my bike for about a week now. Because as I said before, I don't do reviews of things until I've actually used them myself. Because otherwise I don't really have a valid opinion on them. But uh, I've been using it and I'm very happy with it. So I'm just going to show you what it is, how it works and all the things you need to know. Okay, so this is the oiler itself. I'm going to take this panel off to show you it more clearly, but the reason why I've mounted mine behind the panel here that does mean it's a bit more difficult to fill because it's a top filling reservoir is because on a super motor, I'm a little bit concerned about it being down here. So if I go past a bush or a bramble or something, it could pull it off and I just don't want to do that. And although it is more difficult to refill it by putting it in here, it's either taking this panel off or what I've also got is a, a large syringe. And because they give you so much of this hosing, uh, you can just stick it on the end and you just pump it straight into it without taking it off the bike. It just it made it a lot easier and made it more simple and streamlined for me. So that's why I've done it that way. Anyway, I need to take this panel off. Okay, there you go. Now, this is a universal chain oiler. See, this will fit to any bike. Um, depending on which package you buy from them, you get extra brackets and things like this. Um, but they send you, in the deluxe kit, they send you everything you're going to need to fit it to any bike. Now, it is fixed the bike using tyre apps, and I have to say that I thought, well, is that going to be strong enough? Uh, the answer to that is yes. I mean, I'm mean, i going to get as close as I can. As you can see, this isn't moving at all. It's solid. Uh, right, well, I will explain exactly how the thing works first, because this is the thing that I didn't really get. Now, you've got a reservoir of oil, and you have the tube that comes down here, and you have a nozzle that feeds it onto the chain. Now, inside this, I'll pop this top off. It's a push fit, but it's a good fit. Uh, they see this... This brass bit at the top, this is a weight. And basically, as you drive up and down the road, that bumps up and down by about a millimetre that allows the oil to flow through the tube. And then you can control the flow rate using this screw here to uh, get the flow rate just right for your type of bike. Because obviously on a sports bike, it's not going to run as bumpy as maybe this Supermoto might. Now, I do have mine set up slightly differently to the way they suggest you do it in so much as it runs down here and there is a nozzle which feeds it straight onto the chain itself on the chain guard here. They suggest running it down the swing arm uh, onto the actual sprocket itself. Now that would be better, but for me, again, I don't want to get it caught on anything. Um, it might not be such an issue on a sports bike, you've got a bit more sort of gubbins around that you can hide it. But for me, I prefer to have it here. Now I spoke to them about that and said, is it okay to actually put out this? And they said, obviously it's not ideal, but it's not a huge problem. You're just going to have to make sure your flow rate's right, because if you've got too much going on, you might find that it drips out from here. It looks like it's sort of, you know, obviously where the chain's going forwards, it looks like the oil might be dripping out your engine. I haven't actually had that at all. Um, when you, In fact, when you first get this, um, when you bleed the oil through, you open this right up. Now I forgot to turn it back in to get it the flow rate rather than sort of bleeding rate. And I emptied nearly an entire oiler in one ride, all over the chain. Now the chain was really well lubed. Surprisingly, no oil went on the the uh, tire at all. So that was, I say, it was my mistake. But even if you if it does let a lot of oil through, it's not going to be a huge issue. It seems to just go on to the chain where it seems to need to go, and some gets flung off. But I didn't notice any on the sidewalls of my tire. Okay, so in the kit you get the bracket, which this you can take apart as much as you like and put it back together in different configurations so it fits uh, how you want it to. It's made up of three parts, uh, so you literally you can put it together backwards, forwards, upside down and you can work out the best way for it to fit on your bike. But you do need to have this within, I think it's 10% or 5% of vertical, uh, it's quite important. Now I do realise with this camera it's quite wide angle so you won't be able to see too closely, so I'm just going to go back over using my phone so you can actually see what I'm uh, talking about. Okay, so you've got the actual oiler itself here, as you can see, the adjuster valve here, your bracket attaches, you've got the tube that comes off the bottom, runs down and ends up pointing down onto the chain because there's a nozzle on the end of it that's supplied, and that just means it drips directly onto the chain. You can move it backs and forwards with this metal wire uh, so you can make sure it stays in the right place. Uh, build quality wise, fantastic. The bracket is really good and strong. The actual uh, oiler itself, the plastic this is made of is a good high density plastic. The first thing I noticed when I got it out of the bag was is like this is a really nicely made little bit of kit because it only comes from a family run business, but they're very very good at it, and I'm I'm very impressed by it. Um, when you get it in the kit, as I say, you get a lot more plastic tubing than this. You get miles of it. Um, so you, all you have to do is sort of roughly get this in the right place, roughly get that in the right place, and then you sort of tie wrap bits down, neaten it up, chop the hose off so there's a little bit of a, a give in it, so, you know, for any movement you need. The one thing you don't ever want to do is put it on the swing arm itself, because obviously the, the rattling of that weight would mean that it would chuck all of its oil out. You want it up here somewhere, or down here. I mean, that's how I could have put it down here. Uh, which would have meant the panel wasn't in the way of it, but I'm just a bit worried that a bush would hit it or pull it off or something like that. 
But really, there isn't a lot more to it. That's the wonderful thing about it. It's very simple. You put oil in here. And now, I will say about the oil. Um, the oil itself in this is the Tutoro oil they supply. Uh, it's about 5 99 for um, 500 mils. And it is a ch design chain lube for this with uh, anti-corrosives and stuff like that in it. You can use a 2050 type uh, engine oil if you don't have that available at the time, but obviously that's not gonna give you the same sort of uh, anti-corrosion effect, but it will give you the same sort of flow rate, because obviously if it's too thin, it's just gonna run through too quickly. Uh, fitting is very, very, very easy. That's why I didn't bother showing it, because it's it's self-explanatory. You get this where you want, and say, do the tie-ups up. There is a 10-step guide on YouTube to use um, that they supply, which is very good, and is very in-depth into every single part of fitting it. So if you're unsure on one particular part, you can look at that video, if it's something else, or you can watch the whole thing. I watch, watch through the whole thing just to see sort of how they suggested, and then work my own configuration out. And say, so take a little bit of time to work out where you're going to put it, but to any bike, sports bikes, um, cruisers, obviously, supermotos, because I said about I was a bit concerned with the bouncing of a supermoto because it was a bit more jumpy, obviously. Is that going to be a problem? And they said, no, it's used on, uh, people use them on crosses and MX bikes, and they find they're very, very good. So they're happy to use them. As I say, I've had it on for a week now. I'm still, you have to play with the flow rate a little bit um, to get it just about right. At the moment, I think I'm about there. Uh, I think it's going to be more specific per bike, depending on how bumpy the roads you're on are, for instance, to get there right. But if you look at my chain, I don't know if you can see this properly, but uh, it's wet with oil, but it's not wet, wet. It's just got a nice lubrication. Uh, that's what you want. You don't want it too dry and you don't want it overly wet. So you're just going to have to play with it and just get the right uh, saturation sort of for your chain and how you like to have it. I think really that's all you need to know. It's nice and easy to fit. It does what you need it to do. It's not overly complicated, like I say, like the Scott Oilers with their LCD screens and the electrics and all that. I mean, that might be... I'm not saying they're not any good at what they do. They're perfectly good at oiling a chain. But I like simplicity, and I like mechanical rather than electrical. And this just answers that question for me, and I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, say, other vloggers have reviewed these in the past, and um, I've spoke to them, and they've had them for a couple of years, and they've said, very happy standing up to uh, the test of time and being used on a bike. So I can only really say good things about it. Tutoro chain oilers, spicy approved, definitely. And so they do, they will extend the life of your chain and your sprockets. And it obviously stops you having to do that annoying every couple of rides of pushing your bike backwards and forwards to try and oil the whole chain if you don't have a paddock stand or something like that. So there you go. Go to the website, have a look. You might want to fit one to your bike. I'll catch you next time. And it's true that that bike probably will be better than a Chinese bike. But then the thing is they cost over 4,000 quid. The stereotype of Chinese bikes, which so many people buy into,